Shetani. Yeah. <laughs> Jamani. Huyu <laughs> mtumiaji maarufu <laughs> na Mikira siko ananiambia waambie niko napatikana kama Shoshi Mrembo TikTok. Muda sio mrefu katoka kuingia live hapa. Anatuambia masuala ya ushetani. Nani? Jamani. TikTok shetani. Watu sikize walali. Wewe vipi na kuaga vipi? Au wewe unaweza ku control? Nielewe. TikTok ni shetani. Na hata wafanye haraka maana urongo sikuizi kumekuwa na mambo ambayo hata hayastahili. Yeah. Kuna watu TikTok si watoto wadogo peke yao. Mm. TikTok ni ya kila mtu. Lakini sasa unakuta watoto wadogo wameona ni kama mahali pa hapana. Wacha ifungwe. Mm. Na wacha ifungwe hata mimi pia niko kwa huo msaada wa waku waku nani wakuongea wacha ifungwe. Mm. Mambo mengine pia tutakuwa tushapumzika. Huwezi fungua TikTok mbele ya watoto wako. Kwa nini? Mbona mwatuaibisha jamani? Eh? Watu na kili zenu, mna mama zenu, mna watu wenu wa karibu, lakini unafanya jambo mpaka mtu akiona anaona hapana. Wacha ifungo mswada upitishwe haraka sana. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Sasa? Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo TikTok wewe una, 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 unaona waachane waacha na sisi. Binafsi wewe unaona hivyo? Ah, naona. Na, na, Mtandao gani uko safe? Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Eh, eh? Hakuna mtandao mzuri. Kila mtandao ni mbaya lakini TikTok intia fora. Ah jamani. Mwenye sijui nini humo. Mwenye sijui nini sasa. Wacha hivyo. Watu wamepotea hawalali. Si wake si waume. Eh. Jamani unangoja mwanamume wewe aje chumbani Yuko sitting room ni? You are smile. Uko TikTok. Eh, uko, uko TikTok unafanya nini? Zamani wanaume walikuwa wakiingia by saa 3 wako ndani ya room. Mm. Eh? Mwaongea katiba tutepitisha vipi? Eh? Shamba tutalilima vipi? Watoto tasquizi watu hawaongei mambo ya familia kwa sababu ya TikTok. Ifungeni, ifungeni. Hata mm. mimi pia nitalala. Eh. Wacha ifungwe. Unakaa hulali wewe. Mimi nalala kidogo. Sasa hata mimi ah. <laughs> Nalala kidogo lakini sisi. Huyu huyu mama mimi ananchosha. Sasa kuna video eh ambayo tunayo kwenye uh-huh. masuala ya TikTok eh. Ndio. Hebu tutazame eh uh, anakuambia hata mimi niko TikTok bila aibu. Ah kwani kwani ndambi? Ah sio wewe. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nani? Oh, uko na mwanzangu. Ah yuko mzee uko TikTok. Hebu tutazame video tarejea. <laughs> Shoshi. Uh-huh. Ongera sana kwa kwa TikTok and uh, one of the speakers you have said the petition you with, with well in the house and uh, the Mr. Ndolo who has sent that uh, petition is well within his rights but honorable speaker TikTok as you read that uh, petition honorable speaker I noticed that the honorable Njeri Maina was actually on TikTok <laughs> is that correct? <laughs> go on, go on and honorable speaker many of us including myself honorable speaker I am on TikTok unashamedly and uh, my deputy whip here says she's also on TikTok. And there is nothing criminal, there is nothing evil being on TikTok, honorable speaker. I am also on Snapchat, honorable speaker. And all these apps are my teenage daughters who have downloaded them on my phone, shown me how to use them. Therefore, honorable speaker, as much as I feel what Mr. Ndolo says, there could be an element of abuse of all these apps. Uh, but honorable speaker, we cannot as a house preside over the banning, outright banning of any app. We cannot fight with technology. Honorable speaker, what uh, probably uh, Ndolo should have done is to petition the house, and maybe that's what uh, the relevant committee should do, is to look at ways how you regulate the use of these apps how you restrict the age groups that will be able to use these apps, how the Communications Authority of Kenya and uh, ICT authorities will be able to regulate the content that is being uploaded for viewership uh, to, to be able to view, for age groups that are not supposed to see certain content, uh, are not able to see. But, Honorable Speaker, outright banning will also be killing careers. Honorable Speaker, I know and I've been to some establ- establishment in Lovington where uh, they have established a digital village. And in fact, around the country, honorable speaker, it's part of government efforts to establish studios 
where young men and women back in our villages can have studios where they can create content for use on TikTok, on WhatsApp, on Snapchat, and all these other apps on our speaker. And there are many young Kenyans who are earning a living from this, uh, all these apps. Honorable Speaker, the content creators that even government now is tapping onto their resources in terms of revenue uh, generation, Honorable Speaker, is because even government now appreciates that this is now an industry where we can even raise money from. I have seen young Kenyans earning to the tune of 300, 400,000 shillings on account of the people who are following them on TikTok. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, we just need to regulate the content that young people or small children who are underage are able to view and how they can use these apps. But uh, the outright banning of TikTok or indeed any other app, I think, is uh, going way beyond our call of duty. And we should encourage. And also, parents should take charge. That is why, as a parent, I'm on TikTok. As a parent, I'm on Snapchat. And indeed, it serves very well if you are a good father. Because now my daughters are able to tell exactly who I am on Snapchat. They told me they had downloaded it so that they can tell exactly where I am at any point in time. They are able to track my movements. They are able to know when I'm coming home. Uh, although at times, Honorable Speaker, uh, depending on the circumstances, I have to switch off the location services. <laughs> Because at times you also need to be a typical African father and appear home unannounced. <laughs> Therefore, I, I knew my young daughters are also doing this so that they can also track to know when I'm about to get home. But I want to encourage parents like myself, Honorable Speaker, to also appraise themselves of the developments in the technological world so that we are not caught unawares and we are able to see the content that our children are being able to access. And therefore, I want to urge the committee to look more towards regulation of the use of these apps and the content that is being uploaded, the, who are able to access that content, honorable speaker, and also for government agencies to ensure that if you upload content that is not desirable for young people, you are heavily fined and probably even banned from using that app so that you don't become a serial abuser of children and underage people using these apps. With those many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I beg to support that petition with the amendment that we do not consider the outright banning of any app. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Siyo menelewe. Mekwelewe. Eh, baada ya kupatele na fasi, ya kuweza kuzungumza, haka zungumza. Ndiyo. Uyo ndo kimani ishungwa. Kipata gana fasi ya kuzungumza, ana zungumza. Uh -huh. Kimani ishungwa. Eh, kimani ishungwa. Oh. Eh, hame zungumza. Anaitua kimani ishungwa. <laughs> Lakini kukona kijana moja, siju kama uli pata kusikia, eh. kuna wakati u 